Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted on Facebook this morning how they could make this F smaller. And a couple people have already answered it, and I thought I would kind of summarize it in a video. There's two ways, at least two ways to do this. One is with your pick tool or your, excuse me, with your text tool. While it's still in the text mode, you can cursor over that one S and you see it's 270 points. Let's make it 250 points. And it made the S smaller without changing the other letters. That's one way. The other way, and a couple people have mentioned this, take your shape tool and just click on that little node next to the S. And right here, you can make it 200 points. What I also like about the shape tool there's other things you can do with it. You can rotate it. You can rotate that S and make it bold, make it, I mean, anything you could with the text. But if you hit on that little node, you could make it a percent offset. Let's change it to 5% offset. And it moved it up, you know, a negative 5%. And moved it down below the line. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this. I mean, you could make it subscript or, po or superscript. Let's back up here. And if you click on that, you could add that S like you would in H2O type scenario. So there's a lot you can do with it. You could also change the cap of it. If you want to make it a capital S. It's all done that quick. No, we're still 5%, so let's put it back to zero and put it back on the line. So, quickly, you can just highlight over the over it, and you can change the position. You can also rotate it. You can make it bold. But it just gives you a lot more options to do it either way. Gives you another way out. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.